very briefly share something personal, some sort of a story that brought you to be an advocate for early learning and the importance of the first 2,000 grades. Why you personally believe in B4, 5, and so I'm going to start with you. Well, also a somewhat unexpected story. Uh, people know I've been a cop my whole career and I figured that that's my route to get there. And certainly as a cop, I saw lots of situations where children were not being well cared for. But I didn't come to, to fully appreciate how difficult good child care is until I found myself in the situation of trying to be a daycare provider. Now, people who know me kind of laugh and say, I can't believe anybody would leave their children with you soon. <laughs> the, the way this came about is when my first son was born, I was working second shift patrol in White Center. Just had a, I, I loved being a cop, I loved what I was doing, and I was utterly, completely unprepared for parenthood. And because I came from a big family, kids were like, you know, litter of puppies. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. <laughs> Until my son arrived, and all of a sudden, I remember in the hospital saying to my husband, I changed my mind. I want to stay home. <laughs> Well, that didn't work very well because he was a first-year teacher. We couldn't survive on his salary. I couldn't bear going to work and leaving my baby at home, so I decided I was going to quit and become a daycare provider. And that is the hardest, scariest thing I've ever done in my life. And um, I found myself, frankly, going stir-crazy. I had very little quality time with my own son because I had all these other kids. And I'm sort of embarrassed to confess this, but. I started to understand why people can be children. Because I was so frustrated and scared and unsupported. And luckily for my children and the rest of the world, I gave up being a care provider because I sucked at it. And went back to work and I found a lovely woman to be a nanny for my children. But that, I, I will never forget how difficult that was. And I will always appreciate good daycare providers because of how hard it is. Thank you.